Good morning. Welcome to our All Age Nativity service today. It is great to have you, and I've got to take my mic off or my, my, my mask off because I'm so used to wearing it these days. Um, it's great to have you here in our church today. We also uh, have uh, nearly a full hall in the Rowan Hall, um, and so it's lovely to uh, welcome so many out today to our service. And whether you are with us in church or you're very welcome to worship with us today. Can I also say that the Reverend Jane is here today, but she has joined the folks in the Rowan Hall uh, today as well. So maybe at this point we could uh, turn around and give everybody a, a friendly wave. And don't forget about the people in the Rowan Hall and at home too. Super. Thank you. Can I draw your attention just to a few announcements? Uh, thank you to the ladies who have beautifully dressed our uh, window displays this year. I'm sure you all agree they are absolutely excellent and you can have a little look at them um, as you can see where you're sitting. Um, but thank you to, to those ladies who um, have used their gifts in, to, in preparing our windows for Christmas. We thank, thank you also for your kind donations to the gift toy appeal for the NSPCC. They will be collected tomorrow. Thanks also to all who have signed up to provide a hamper for uh, our Christmas dinner hamper for the local uh, food bank. The Rowan Hall will be open today from 2 to 3 p.m to drop off any other toys or any finished Christmas hampers that you might have. And then again next Sunday from the 20th from 2 to 3 p.m. as well for the rest of the hampers. Then uh, I'm sure if you've read the announcements on Facebook, we are setting a little bit of a Christmas challenge for you all. As I look out today, I can see lots of festive Christmas jumpers and they're super, really, really good. But we want you to take a photograph of you in your Christmas jumper. So whether you're at home or uh, you are uh, listening via the phone or any, any way that you are joining us this Christmas time, we want us all to be able to come together. Whilst we all can't meet in church, we are thinking of this idea to bring everybody's uh, lovely faces uh, before us and we can see everybody uh, together with their jumpers on. So please do take a photograph of you smiling in your Christmas jumpers and we can add those to uh, the screens for next week and also these will be shown on Facebook. If you could send those photographs to me or to Jane by Wednesday the 16th, that would be super. Thank you. And I think these are all the announcements for today. We come to the point now of lighting our third Advent candle, which today reminds us of joy and because Jesus came into this world and came to us as Jesus as Emmanuel God with us we can know joy so let's light our third candle Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you gave your all to the world in the bleakness of that stable. Love was born that day, pure love, undiluted, poured out for all who call on your name. Such grace undeserved deserves a response in the life that we lead. Forgive our ingratitude for all you have done. Draw us to your word. Give us a new song to sing that will resonate throughout this world and begin with us today. And as a family of God, we join together in the prayer you taught us to pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And we now sing our first carol for today, which is carol number 314. Come and join the celebration. It's great to have Megan and Courtney Campion and of course John leading us in our worship today. So let's please stand and sing. Come and join the celebration. come now to our Bible reading and I am sure uh, you've heard uh, each week in our announcements you've heard that the midweek youth hangout group is meeting on a Wednesday evening and so we have done so since September and the midweek youth hangout group has met together uh, to chat to encourage one another to pray for one another um, and to play some games and of course um, I share a short Bible thought as well but it's been wonderful to meet with a group of young people each Wednesday night since September and it's been encouraging for me to get to know them as well. And so today they will now share in our reflective Bible reading, which is a little bit different this year because it is, uh, will be virtual on our screen. But our reflective Bible reading today is Isaiah chapter 7 to 9. Isaiah was a priest many hundreds of years before the first Christmas, but though the things that happened to him, God was preparing the world for what Christmas really means. One day in the temple, Isaiah heard angels singing. He was terrified and felt he didn't deserve to be there at all. God wanted him to be a messenger. However, God warned him that he would be saying some things that very few would understand. God promised him that, Despite all that would happen, there would be the hope of a new start one day. He even called his first child a name which means something like hope one day. King Ahaz of Judah was in a terrible panic. The nearby countries of Syria and Israel 
wanted to force him to join them in war against the superpower of the day called Aspia. If he didn't do that, they threatened to get rid of him. Along with the whole country, the king was paralyzed with fear. Isaiah knew what God wanted him to say. Trust in God was Isaiah's message. If you don't, then their future's bleak. Despite this message, King Ahaz couldn't make up his mind. But God sent a sign anyway, in the shape of a baby called Emmanuel, which means God with us. It was God's way of saying that only by trusting in God being with them would there be any hope of a tomorrow. This is still true today and Emmanuel, or God with us, was the name given by the angel to Jesus at Christmas. Isaiah warned that before this child reached the age of seven, the superpowers would get rid of them all. Isaiah's second child was given the longest name ever. In English, it means something like quick grab, loot the lot. It was Isaiah's dramatic way of warning everyone that things were going to get really bad. The enemy would get them all in the end. Indeed, within months of his birth, Syria and Israel were swept away and not many years later, Judah followed. followed. But Isaiah kept telling them that if only they could trust it in Emmanuel, God with us, things could have been different. Isaiah went on to say that one day another child would be born. This child would be born in the north of the country. This child would bring light into the darkness. This child would bring, would bring joy. This child would change everything. This child would be given incredible names such as Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. No one at the time understood what Isaiah was talking about. Maybe even Isaiah wasn't, wasn't that sure what it all meant, but it was a clue. It was God's signpost to Christmas. This was going to be God's great plan to send Jesus, whose name means rescuer. This time, it, it wouldn't just be Judah that was rescued for a short time, but the whole world, but the whole world forever. Thank you to our young people, to Katie and to Connor, and to Amy and to Courtney and Megan and to Sam and to Gareth for bringing us our reflective Bible reading today. We are going to stand and sing together another carol. Now this carol is away in a manger, but it is a recording from last year. And so we can remain seated for the first verse as the children sing. And then please uh, stand and join in verses two and three. So let's sing Away in a Manger.
And so we have uh, come to the fi famous point of our service that we've all been waiting for, and we are all out to see our premiere of our virtual nativity 2020 featuring some wonderful uh, children and young people from first oma and so we're going to watch this wonderful video and i'm sure you might recognize a few faces in the congregation and in the rowan hall as well and at home so let's all watch this video and see who you can see and here let's listen to the story and see what you can remember as well Surprise! The Lord's favour rests on you! Gabriel! Michael! What are you doing? Well, well I'm practicing. practicing. Remember God's message. I have to pop in and say to Mary and let her know she's giving birth to the God's son. Right, yes, of course. Listen, Gabriel, just a word of advice if you don't mind. Please, please try not to panic her, will you? You know, we both know humans can be very... Jumpy when they see angels. Michael, 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 Michael. You don't need to worry about that. People may jump when they see you because you're Michael with the Mr. Grumpy face. Excuse me, Gabriel. Listen, Michael, I don't need to worry about that because I am lovable. So if you don't mind, I'm off. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> no, no, don't panic. I come with good news. You are going to give birth to God's son, and you're calling him Jesus. What? How is this possible? With God, anything is possible. I'm God's servant. If this is what he wants, let it happen. Excellent. Bye. What's that? Oh, no, yes, of course. Don't worry. I'll let him know all about Joseph. Don't worry about a thing. What about Joseph? <laughs> Gabriel! Don't sneak up on me like that. No wonder Mary was terrified, screaming all over the place. Oh, you didn't me afraid the way you turn around like that. But, but anyway, what about Joseph? What about Joseph? Yes. Well, ever since Mary became pregnant, there's been rumours all over town. Apparently, Joseph is now saying he's not going to marry Mary. And we, we just can't have that, Gabriel. We really can't. So God wants you to go to Joseph in a dream and tell him to marry Mary. Right, so I've got to go and tell him to marry Mary. No, wait. Marry Mary. Mary, Mary. Hello, Joseph. Oh, oh, don't wake up. Stay asleep. Oh, that's right. Shh. So, Mary's going to have a baby, but you're not to worry. All right? You're going to marry Mary. Whew, I'm glad I got that right. And she's going to have a baby. You're going to call him Jesus. And this, this is the exciting bit. He will save the people from their sins. Have you got that, Joseph? All right. Bye. I just had the strangest dream. I need to go find Mary. Well, Michael, I thought that just went very well. No screaming at all. Yes, Gabriel. Well, it, uh, it did help. He was asleep, didn't it? Yes, that, that does always help. But uh, what do we do now? Well, Gabriel, I suppose all we can do is wait. Right, okay. Michael, I'm bored. We've been waiting here for ages. Gabriel, would you be quiet, please? Look, look. They're on the move, on their way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Why are they going to Bethlehem again, Michael? Because there is a census, Gabriel. The government want everyone to return to the town of their family. And Joseph's family, well, they're from Bethlehem. Ah, although look at poor Joseph, they're having to travel a long old way, aren't they? And poor Mary. Imagine having to walk all that way pregnant. And even the donkey's tired. Mm, quite. Ah, uh, look, look, look. They finally arrived in Bethlehem. Now, if only they could find somewhere to stay. Oh, don't worry, Michael. I'm sure that won't be a problem at all. I hope not. Sorry, no room. Sorry, no room. Sorry, no room. Sorry, no room. No room. This 
This is terrible. I need to sit down. I'm sorry, dear. Michael, this isn't looking good. Don't worry, Gabriel. I'm sure God has a plan. Look! Actually, I might have been where you can stay. Follow me. Oh, thank goodness! I was getting worried. Well, I did tell you not to worry, didn't I? Although I, uh, I can't quite see what room he's going to put him into. Wait a second. Is he? Is he put him in a, in a stable? A st he has! Oh, look, it's a donkey! For goodness, a donkey! Wait, chickens! And is that a cow I see in the back? Oh dear, Gabriel, this will never do. But Michael, look! Mary's had a baby! It's Jesus and... Oh, isn't it cute? Oh, Hello. wonderful! Hello. Imagine that! God's son, born in a stable of all places, surrounded by dirt and animals. Remarkable! It really is. It's quite something. Although, look at Joseph. He looks like he's had a bit of a shock. <laughs> quite. Well, there you go, Gabriel. That really was wonderful, although we can't hang around. Lots of work to do. We have to deliver a message to the shepherds. So hurry along, Gabriel. Let's go. I'm bored. I'm really bored. I'm really, really bored. Greetings! Bye! Please don't panic, please, please don't ha! panic. Michael, scaring some shepherds and their flock, per show. Gabriel, be quiet, okay? Okay, everyone, we've come with some amazing news just for you guys. Tonight, a saviour has been born. He is the Messiah, the Lord of all. And you shall know him when you find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. You got that? Yeah. Got it, in Bethlehem, wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Wonderful! And to celebrate, myself and some of my angel friends shall sing for you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia! Come on everyone, let's go see the Saviour. Right behind you. Slow down! I can't keep up! Look, Michael! The star is moving through the sky! Yes, and look, it appears the wise men are following it! Yes, I wonder how many wise men there are. Let me just do a quick count, okay? Uh, one, two, three! I heard they went to Jerusalem first by mistake and met angry King Herod! Grrr! But luckily, they found their way to Bethlehem with their gifts. That's a relief. I give you gold. Fit for a king. I bring you frankincense. Praise be to God. I bring you myrrh for all you must do. Thank you. Michael, those gifts are very nice, aren't they? Mm. Although, I would have said no to a bit of chocolate. Gabriel! Sorry. <laughs> Poor Joseph, he still looks a bit shocked by it all. <laughs> Quite. And it's just, it's strange to think, Michael, isn't it, that those innkeepers and the people that live in Bethlehem, well, they don't realise that something incredible has just happened. Well, yes, Gabriel, of course. However, think about it. A young girl, the carpenter, a bunch of animals, some smelly shepherds, and three wise guys from the east. They all know that something amazing has just taken place. <sighs> I don't know about you, Michael, but I can't wait to see what Jesus does next. <laughs> Gabriel, yes, me neither. But in the meantime, we've work to do. So come along, Gabriel, yes. hurry up. Okay, right behind you. says it all boys and girls very very well done i was so so proud of you all whenever i could send all those fantastic videos off to chris and to ross and play it by ear 
and I want to say thank you because you did such a good job. So it's wonderful to know that First Doma is blessed with such wonderful children and uh, young people and not forgetting our parents who I'm sure <laughs> loved me dearly when I was trying to get all those videos to me uh, in landscape and all these instructions. So I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you uh, to everyone who uh, made that video um, such a good success and also to the guys I played by ear. Uh, the angel Gabriel did send me a message um, and he told me that uh, he wanted from there, from Play It By Ear, to tell our wonderful young people that they did such a great job. So I think everybody really enjoyed that and they enjoyed our videos too. So after that, how do you follow on from that really at the minute? But I want to just have a, a brief short uh, talk now to think about what we have uh, watched uh, in our video. And so it's that time of the year again. I'm sure you are all eagerly waiting uh, for Christmas Day. I know that I am. And for, for gifts, um, for whether you are buying gifts, you are giving gifts, or you are receiving the gifts, um, I know I enjoy especially that last one, probably the best. I'm really stressed at buying people gifts because I never really knew what to buy. But I wonder what gift you are waiting for this Christmas morning. And as we have watched in our virtual nativity today, one thing is clear. The greatest gift to be given to us was from God, who loved us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, who came into the world as a tiny little baby and all those years ago. But I wonder what other gifts can we think of that were also offered at the time of Jesus' birth. Well, if we can remember from our nativity video that the helpful innkeeper, can anybody tell me what they gave? Can anybody remember? Does anybody listen? Do you remember what the helpful innkeeper gave Mary and Joseph? Can anybody put their hand up and tell me? Where did, where did they stay? Yes, Jim? That's right. So Mary and Joseph were given the gift of shelter from the helpful innkeeper. Even though that what meant that they were surrounded by smelly animals and they weren't very comfortable, but that was all that the helpful innkeeper could offer. And we also think about the shepherds who traveled from the hillsides. And even though the gift wasn't in our video, we know uh, from our Bible that the, the, the shepherds brought the gift of a lamb. And then the three wise men, they knew of the great significance of what had happened in Bethlehem. They knew that something really, really important had happened and they traveled on their journey, just like as you can see them in our, in our picture here today, they traveled on their camels with three precious gifts. Can anybody tell me, was anybody listening really well, the three gifts that the wise men brought to Jesus? Can anybody think? Oh, one. Thomas, give it a go. Do you remember? No. Oh, dear me. Anybody know the three gifts? Anybody? Even an adult. I'll take anybody this morning. Okay. Anybody? Okay, Jim, you need to help me today again. Pardon? Gold. That's right. Yes. Can anybody help me? So we've got gold and we've got frankincense. Perfect. Thank you, congregation. And we've got myrrh. Brilliant, okay. And so the, they brought those three gifts and they all were special gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, which, which represented the huge importance of Jesus' birth, that he was the son of God, he was the promised Messiah, he was the savior of the world, and he was the king of all kings. And all those people in our nativity story today must have felt great joy and happiness knowing that the King, baby Jesus, had been born into this world. But I want us to think today about what we each can bring to Jesus at this Christmas time. And as we, if we use the example of the three wise men, we know that the first wise man brought 
gold. And so rather than offering gold, let's give Jesus our trust. Because we know when all our hopes uh, will be fulfilled, when Jesus, uh, he has our lives and he leads us and he chooses what's best for us in his good and perfect will. And the second wise man brought frankincense. But rather than us offering the gift of frankincense to Jesus, let's give him our worship through our songs by coming along to church like this. Uh, by coming along to Jigsaw and to Blast when we are allowed to again um, in the new year, God willing, and through our prayers and our praise. And then the third wise man brought myrrh, but rather than offering the myrrh, let's give Jesus our hearts. And so he can be the Lord of our lives, not only at Christmas time, but the whole year through. And whenever Jesus was born into our world, he brought us the gifts of hope and of peace and of love and of joy. So we can choose to give Jesus the gifts of our trust, of our worship, of our hearts, our lives. And these are the gifts which are far more important and more valuable than gold and frankincense and myrrh. Amen. And so our prayers now will be led by Gareth, Courtney and Amy. And these will be shown on our screen uh, and we recorded it via Zoom during the week. So hopefully all will go uh, to plan. Let us pray. As we remember the baby born in Bethlehem, we bring before you, before you all those born in this town and in this congregation. They have so much more in material terms than the baby Jesus, and we pray that, that they will also be made aware of the blessings and love which comes not only from the parents and family, but also from the church, family, and from God himself. Help all who seek to teach, each, to teach and guide young people in the ways of the Lord. We remember too all, all parents as they seek, like Mary and Joseph, to care to care for and protect their children in this world. As we remember all who traveled to Bethlehem and sought and, and found hospitality and a home there, we pray for those who travel this season, grant them journeying mercies and keep them safe. Be with all who offer hospitality in a new year, in a new way this year, and with all who go the extra mile to help those less fortunate than themselves. We bring before you all who are in work. Be with all who work. Help them to be vigilant and honest in their toil. Give encouragement to those who are unemployed and who may feel disheartened at this time. Help each to know that all are precious to you and are loved and cared for in the same way. We remember too at this time all who have to work at this holiday season and give thanks for their commitment. As we remember all who exercise authority in Bethlehem, we bring before you now all who have authority and are involved in the governance in our land. Grant them wisdom, integrity and compassion as they continue to make decisions with regards to the ongoing COVID-19 virus pandemic. Help each one of us to use whatever positions of authority we possess to be an example for you. As we remember the message of the good news, which was brought to Bethlehem, we bring before you now all who seek to spread the gospel. Grant them wisdom and understanding in all they do. Be with each one of us as we seek to bring the light of the gospel into everywhere we go, in our homes, our schools and workplaces. May each one of us live our lives always conscious that we are your people on earth and that we are the example of Christ in this place. We ask all this in the name of that baby born in Bethlehem. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you to our young people for leading us in our Zoom prayers today. And we bring our uh, nativity service of 2020 to a close by singing our final carol. 
number 334. See him lying on a bed of straw. And let's stand and sing together. the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas and always. Amen. Thank you all once again for joining us today in our uh, virtual nativity service um, and our uh, Christmas service for young people. It was great to see you all. And just now I will uh, direct, uh, as always, who will leave. And please do, can I encourage you to use the sanitizer, hand sanitizers on the wall um, and make your way as quickly as possible to your cars. Uh, and try not to stop for conversation, but safe home. Um, and we hope to see you very soon. Thank you.